Hello, welcome to this short and direct video on relationships in Power BI. I have here a very relevant example. These are data of companies in Nigeria, the different, I think I have close to 50 companies. So starting from in alphabetical order, 7up, Academy Press, Access Bank, down to Zenith Bank, right? So I have them as separate tables. I also have their financial analysis table. So I have table of uh, total liabilities by the different companies, table of total equity, of revenue, of of all the kind of things that if I'm a stock analyst, I will have gathered about all these different companies. And so I'm trying to create a dashboard, something like this, where I can pick on any particular company and see the analysis of their financials. So here I'm picking on, say, maybe 7up, and instantly I get to see the total asset, total liability for 7up. And the same across all the other metrics I want to see. I want to see maybe return on assets, return on equity. So I have a report sheet for each of those very important metrics. So how am I able to do it such that I'm able to connect all of these different tables together? And that is what relationship is all about. Okay, so relationship is Honda Home, right? You click on manage relationships and it allows you to create relationship between separate tables so as you've seen these are the relationships i've created but i'll show you how to start it so i'm going to click on new and the moment you do that you have two different aspects so you have uh, ability to choose one particular table and another one to relate it with in down there so i'm going to come here and say okay i'm going to relate uh take for instance the revenue table so i'm going to look for a revenue table revenue R. so the revenue table and then I want to create a relationship between the revenue table and another table so maybe the list of companies so I have a table called the different companies uh, that should be ticker ticker brick table so I want to create a relationship between the revenue table and the ticker bridge table so whenever I I work with this ticker table I can link it up with the revenue table. So once I bring a ticker table in here, which is what I did in this, I'll recreate this dashboard for you to see. So I'm saying the re revenue table here, the ticker here is exactly related to the ticker in the ticker bridge table. And then you can choose what kind of relationship exists. You can choose, uh, normally Excel will figure that out for you. As you can see, it's saying I already have a relationship created between these two columns. But don't worry, I'm going to use this to still explain. So you could choose a many to one. So for this table, actually, I have a many to one relationship. Meaning in the revenue table, as you can see, the seven up ticker is showing up multiple times. So I have tickers showing up multiple times, one value showing up multiple times. But in this ticker bridge table, I have a, every value showing up just exactly once. So they are all unique across all the different records. So I, I'm, I'm going to say this is a many to one many to one in other cases you could choose one to one or one to many right one to many will have been if this was up here and this one was down here so i'm having each uh item showing up just once for the ticker here and showing up multiple times for the ticker here that would be a one to many but in this case i have a many to one so many to one and then you can set is it going to be a single you know a single direction you know you the, you're relating from one to the next but you're not going up and from that one to another uh, this maybe I'll create another video to explain this if you're trying to create maybe some form of many-to-many -many relationship then this is where you come up with uh, you, you make those changes to reflect that kind of a relationship but in our case I'm going to choose a many-to-one single but if you want a way it's a situation if you want to be able to also go from this to these and back to another table so this could be like a middle table or any one of them could serve as a as a middle table and you could go above it to another table then you choose a a both cross filtering direction okay so in this case i'm going to choose single and if this was not uh, complaining and uh, maybe i'll say make this relationship uh, by default uh, you also have this make this relationship active enabled right 
so I'm going to choose OK uh, as, you, as you can see now I can't do that so what I'll do is I'm going to come to one of the ones I've created before and I will the uh, I'll edit it so you'll see how it will look like in real life so this is what will you will actually have when you're creating you in this case I'm having a many to one because as in this particular table financial years they repeat themselves so that's why I'm having many to one financial year just one here and then I'm choosing single direction and if, it, if I do OK and if I try and show you another one the one for ticker so I'm going to click on edit in this particular case this is similar to the one you just I was demoing with in the beginning so I'm choosing ticker here to ticker here but many to one as you can see many to one make this relationship active and I'm choosing single uh, maybe I'll create another video to explain what single and both are about and I choose OK and this is how I create a relationship between different tables and if you want to see the relationship you can click on this show relationship in my own case I have so many tables so if I click on this it might take a while for it to display so I've clicked on it it's going to take a while I have like I shown you I have about 60 different tables okay so thank you for watching this uh, video on the relationships in Excel check out my other short and direct videos thank you okay it's come up this is how it will look like if I if I increase the reduce the zoom you'll be able to see a lot more of these so like I explained I have a lot of tables in there okay and it shows the relationship the relationships are those lines you're seeing okay so thank you once again see you in my other video series